Pharmacist Opwalker's education lies in modern medicine, but his passion lies in educating people on the medicinal aspects of healthy foods like the small but mighty bean. Welcome to the Medicine Garden. Beans rank among the oldest of vegetables, and as far back as the 12th century, a Spanish physician wrote that beans benefit the stomach. During his early voyages, Christopher Columbus introduced the American bean to Spain, and the superior American bean became the world's dominant variety. The beans' medicinal benefits have only been recognized with the help of modern science. Known as the poor man's meat, beans contain as much or more protein than does an equal serving of tuna, beef, or chicken. Beans consumed in a weekly diet helps to prevent constipation, lowers blood cholesterol levels, and due to low sodium and high content of potassium, beans are excellent for those with high blood pressure. An excellent source of folates and iron, beans benefit a vegetarian diet during pregnancy. But remember, add a few drops of lemon or consume vitamin C in order to get maximum absorption of the iron content of beans. Also, beans should be eaten with other foods such as rice, corn, wheat, or oats, or with sesame or sunflower seeds to ensure an adequate intake of the amino acid methionine. For those with a propensity for flagellants and intestinal fermentation, beans are more easily tolerated as a puree. Those suffering from gout and or arthritis should eat beans in moderation due to beans uric acid forming purine which causes gout. Beans are recommended in cases of eczema, itchy dry skin, cutaneous allergies, and general dermatosis, as well as for the prevention of hair loss, seborrhea, and dandruff. The pantothenic acid found in beans strengthen hair by decreasing its fragility. The high cellulose fiber content of beans benefit in the prevention of diverticulosis and colon and rectal cancer. Niacin consumption has been shown to protect the body from the three Ds, dermatitis, diarrhea, and dementia. So now that you do, in fact, no beans, make them a regular part of your diet. I'm Dr. Op Walker, and see you next time in the Madison Garden.